Why intelligent men stay single? If you're a man with a busy career or your own business and you want to find the right girlfriend, life partner or wife, but you've been struggling with either not getting enough of the right matches or dates or not getting any dates at all or women lose interest in you, this video is for you. First of all, you have to understand that thinking does not lead to action. Most likely, you're somebody who's genetically gifted when it comes to IQ if you're watching this video. You're probably fairly intelligent. But you realize that thinking about introducing yourself to somebody, be that on a dating app, carrying a conversation forward, or in real life, does not necessarily equate to actually doing it. You may have been in that situation where you're in a Whole Foods or you're in your gym, you're in a bar, or even just on Instagram. You see a lady and you wanna introduce yourself and then you think about doing it and all of a sudden you visualize all the things that could possibly go wrong. What if she rejects me? What are people gonna think about me? Yada, yada, yada. And then instead of actually doing it, you think about it, paralysis through analysis kicks in, you start having something that's called excuse-making momentum, the opposite of action-taking momentum, which is not just a vacuum, which is not just a nothingness, it actually carries a momentum in and of itself, and then you don't end up doing it. And then you get into a spiral of not taking action, of not using these opportunities, because if you wanna find the right girlfriend, life, partner, or wife, you one, have to create more opportunities for yourself to meet high quality women, and second, you need to improve your communication skills to an extent where, you're, where you'll be able to harness those opportunities, it's very important. So, first of all, understand that if you wanna break the habit of overthinking, you can only do that with massive action. Dating is not an issue of intellect. You're not missing any intelligence. Yes, there's a skill set and certain dynamics when it comes to building attraction that you need to understand, but way more, it's an emotional thing. When you see somebody that you want to introduce yourself to and you haven't progressively desensitized yourself to the fear, well, it's gonna get difficult. And also you have to understand that if you have a professional career, if you run your own business for the majority of the last 10, 20, 30 years of your life, You've been communicating in a professional manner, which is a very concise and logical form of communicating, which delivers the desired results. I mean, the success you currently have in your career or your business comes from being a generally good communicator, at least in a professional environment. But women, they don't come to the date for a logical exchange of information. They want to feel emotions and it doesn't matter how intelligent she may be herself. She is in her head, logical as well, Monday to Fridays, nine to six. Most of her life is spent in a logical manner. So when she goes on a date with you, she wants to feel alive. She wants to be in her feminine. But if you force her to be in her masculine by being all logical, she'll get turned off. So you have to understand that communication always it gets tailored to the context, not the person. I'm not gonna change my communication to please you. You shouldn't change your communication to please her. Yes, are you gonna pace and lead a little bit? Of course, but it's way more important to communicate radically honestly, and if there's natural compatibility, well, the probability that things are gonna go well is a lot higher, because if you have to change the way you naturally communicate for her to like it, is this really gonna work out in the long term? No, it won't. That being said, you do have to adjust your communication to the context you're in because on a funeral, you're gonna communicate very differently to a basketball match, to a baseball match, to a business meeting at work, to a date. And when you're on the date, you have to learn to communicate at the level of emotion and not logic. And you know when you get in your head and you start overthinking things and you become very self-conscious? One of the fastest ways, there's a million techniques, and apply for a free initial consultation call if you wanna learn all of that in detail, if you want my help with that personally. But one of the very fastest and most rapid, fastest and rapid <laughs> techniques that you can use to become less self-conscious and more confident and to stop that overthinking is to turn your attention outward. Because if you, Tony Robbins says, suffering comes when we obsess about ourselves. But if you turn your attention outward and have 80% of your focus, your attention on her, well, 
there's not too much left to worry about because all you can worry about is her and maybe you end up worrying about whether she's actually right for you. Hmm, I like her. Or rather, she's intelligent. She's beautiful. I hope I like her. Instead of, oh, she's so pretty. I hope she likes me. No, she's very pretty. I hope I like her. But if you place your intention, you literally turn, and that works for all social occasions, by the way. If you find it difficult to get into a social flow in other social situations, or at least with women, turn your attention outward and just focus on her. What can you observe about her? Now, that doesn't mean you need to stare like a weirdo, pressure on, pressure off, obviously, but hold relaxed eye contact for a while. Look at her, take it in, be calibrated, be, respect, be respectful. But by turning your attention outward, there'll be a lot less left to worry about when it comes to yourself. So if you want to find an amazing girlfriend, life partner or wife, you need to learn to communicate at the level of emotion. I'll give you an example. I was once on a date many years ago with a lady right after I got done filming client videos talking about the various psychological human needs we have. And so I arrive on the day and I'm totally in the flow after two to three hours of filming videos, very much like this, this was five years ago or so. And I get to the date and we arrive at the bar and I ask her what she would like to drink. She says, a red wine. I say, okay, cool. Why don't you grab that and take a seat in the corner? These booths over there, they look nice, the couches. So you can sit next to her, not opposite of her. And I order myself a cranberry juice because at the time I wasn't drinking any alcohol. Now I still drink very, very little, a couple times a year, maybe, that's it. Um, so I get back to the table. First of all, she asks me, what did you get? A cranberry juice. She says, you don't drink alcohol? No, why didn't you get anything to drink? I said, ah, I don't drink. She says, really? Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. For those of you who are worried that you need to drink alcohol and it is absolutely unnecessary, cut that shit down. It may boost your confidence in the moment, but it decreases your calibration very soon after. And women will find it actually very attractive if you cannot drink alcohol and defy certain social conventions. So we sit down, we start talking, and after five minutes of chit chat, I basically go on a 35 minute rant of me passionately explaining the different psychological human needs we have. Why? Because it was top of mind for me and it's something that I gave a shit about. And I'm not telling you to do that. It's not a technique. There's way better structures that I teach in my coaching program in detail on how to build attraction and how to navigate the conversation. That being said, we ended up spending the night together after I, the date lasted 45 minutes, out of four, 40 minutes of which I just went on this rant and I explained to her these needs and she was just watching there, observe me, give a mini presentation. I'm not telling you to do that. And there's many contexts where it wasn't, where it wouldn't be appropriate, but I didn't care because she asked me, so what do you do? Well, and then I talked to her about that and it was, I so didn't give a shit whether she would approve of it or not, because it's something that I genuinely care about. And let me tell you something. If there's something that you're passionate about and she's not excited about listening to you talk about whatever you're interested in, be that jujitsu, be that rock climbing, yoga, gym, whatever your hobbies are, your business. If she's not excited to real estate, if she's not excited to listen to that, well, it's never going to work out anyway. Now, obviously you need to learn to build attraction and there's more to that, right? Don't compare yourself to me. You're talking, no, you're not talking. You're listening to the Michael Jordan of dating right now. So I can get away with not following the textbook framework, so to speak. That being said, if you communicate what you're genuinely passionate about in a certain way while not giving a fuck whether she approves of it or not, while being calibrated, while being respectful, and while finding ways to relate it to her in an intelligent manner, Things can go extraordinarily well and she'll get very excited about being with you if there's compatibility because that's the difference between me and some of those pickup artists. The pickup artists will tell you, I'll help you to fuck any women, any woman that's out there. And is that really what you want? No, you want to find a meaningful, serious, long-term relationship. Obviously, intimacy and having successful dates, if you get what I'm saying, 
is part of the process, of course, but that isn't the end outcome. And this is not about making things happen with somebody who isn't right for you. It's about communicating in such an attractive way that if there's compatibility, she'll get excited about you because currently you're fucking up. There's women who would be right for you who have compatibility with you and you mess it up because you don't know how to create attraction, how to communicate your personality authentically and effectively. So shift to the level of emotion as opposed to logic. And if you want me to help you with that in detail, simply apply for a free initial consultation call with the link underneath this video or send me a DM on Instagram or send me a DM on TikTok or on Facebook or send us an email or WhatsApp or whatever you wanna do. I'm looking forward to speaking with you very soon. Take care.